reward says, do not, like the slothful servant in the gospel, bury your talents, which God has lent you to be extended in his service. The scene is that of the lazy servant who received a talent but buried it instead of using it for the spread of God's kingdom. Mary Ward's ideal of the Marges or the greater glory of God is the very opposite of the attitude of the lazy servant. Mary Ward would have constantly asked herself, what more can I do? Seeking the honor of God, diligence, courage and endurance in his service is the hallmark of Mary Ward's life and purpose. This is the reason she moved beyond the convent walls to reach out to children in need of instruction. She did not spare herself, but went in disguise to tend to the sick or catechize wayward souls back to God. This is what motivated her to go from town to town in Europe to establish new centers of learning. She did not hesitate to travel across the mountainous Alps, mostly on foot, from Brussels to Rome to appeal to the Pope for approval of her congregation. Neither mountains nor the fear of danger in war-torn Europe could deter Mary Ward from the vision she received from God. However, the goal for Mary Ward is not the work in itself, but that it extends God's kingdom. In today's terms, this would mean working for the development and well-being of all humanity, all creation. Work is an adventure for creating something better, greater. That's not always easy. It calls for the ability to get up and keep going. It is defined by courage and redeemed by love. It is definitely not for accumulating power, wealth, or positions of authority, as many have thought for so long. The present pandemic has clearly shown the futility of such thinking. Ultimately, what is meaningful and lasting is the degree of love, care, and compassion that permeates all that we are and all that we do. May Mary Ward, that incomparable woman, be our guide and model in all our endeavors. Mm -hmm.